Hello, it's Lucas Catton again with the next installment of Narcodon and Scientology Chronicles. And in this video, I want to talk about actually a different little known incident of, um, of a celebrity going to a Narcodon program. And this person, Mackenzie Phillips, actually went to Narcodon, Louisiana. So Narcodon Arrowhead for in Oklahoma for a long time was the, um, you know, the showpiece. That's where Scientology celebrities uh, who either themselves or their friends or family members who had substance use problems would go to and, and things like that. Well, uh, over the years, Arrowhead, as, as it got bigger, their even own internally tracked results and statistics continued to plummet down to the point where they had at one point a retention rate of below 50%. Uh, that means more than half of the people who started left before finishing, let alone success in terms of like how many people start and how good they're doing afterwards. This is just, they couldn't even keep half of them. So it eventually got to the point where uh, Celebrity Center, Scientology Celebrity Center in Los Angeles, uh, started sending any kind of celebrity related admissions for Narconon to Narconon, Louisiana. And uh, Tom and Kathy Steiner were, were the, the owners and directors there. And uh, Dr. Rohit uh, Adi is, uh, is the medical director and is on the board as well. Um, Tom Steiner, I understand, has passed away. And, you know, I, just like most of the people, honestly, who were involved in, in this, they, these, I still believe they're, they're very good people and they, they felt that what they were doing were helping people. Um, unfortunately, they were just lifelong, highly indoctrinated Scientologists, so they believed that their way was the only way. <clears throat> that being said, uh, Mackenzie Phillips, whose sister, Bijou Phillips, is a, is a Scientologist, a uh, well-known Scientologist, and, who's, um, and Bijou's husband is Danny Masterson, who has recently been charged with multiple counts of rape. That's sort of the connection. So... That's how Mackenzie sort of got introduced to Narconon because her sister was already a Scientologist. So naturally, Narconon was a place that they wanted her to go. She'd already been to multiple other programs by her own admission. And she went to um, Narconon, Louisiana in 2008. Now, I'm not breaking any confidentiality here at all. In fact, she wrote about it herself, Mackenzie did, in her book in 2009 called High on Arrival, where she mentions having gone to Narconon, Louisiana, and thanks the people there and said that it, it did help her. Now, after that, she went to Pasadena Recovery Center and was on Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew. And uh, I'll get to that in a second. But in her book, uh, she, you know, she mentions going to Narconon. And so at the time, I was still helping them. And I was actually doing uh, some specific consulting with Narconon of Louisiana. And I was helping them craft a press release announcing you know, that she's got this big book, trying to get some coverage for it. You know, she was appearing on Oprah at the time because she had a bombshell, um, you know, statement in there about uh, abuse from her father and, and things like that and using drugs as a young child and, and with him and, and other salacious things. And so I helped them craft this press release, which is still up online today. If you type in Mackenzie Phillips and Narconon, you'll see this press release on PR Web and, and on Narconon Louisiana or Narconon New Life Retreat .com. Um, You'll see this press release up there that, that, that I helped them write back then. Well, we got an order down from Scientology Celebrity Center through Clark Carr at Narconon International, who was the president, who said, don't send out that press release. They don't want to have anything to do with Mackenzie Phillips and her story because she talked about some of the things with her father and they, they didn't want to be associated with that was the story that, that I was told. Nonetheless, uh, they wanted to capture on the media attention. She was about to go on Oprah, you know, like why would they not want to try and get some attention as people are typing in Mackenzie Phillips and they say, Oh, she, she went to Narconon. So this press release went out. Uh, we got in a little bit of trouble, quote unquote trouble for sending it and we and had to cease doing any other like future, uh, promotion about that but she does mention in her book and you can check it out however she goes on as i mentioned to to pasadena recovery center and celebrity rehab with dr drew and winds up continuing there develops a passion for helping other people in recovery 
starts to work as like a client liaison or, or a treatment advocate for people there, a peer support specialist type thing, and becomes basically a counselor for there. Uh, and many people who are in recovery, who, who work at treatment facilities or, or many people who work at treatment facilities have their own recovery story. So that's not unusual uh, at all. Um, but the, the funny thing is, to me, the funny thing is, is that, um, you know, aside from the, the short mention and things like that, she didn't then, like, she developed this interest in working in recovery, but she didn't then go back to work for Narconon. So, so if she, you know, she may have had a pretty good experience and was treated really well there and that kind of thing, but she didn't go work for Narconon. She went to work for a traditional place, you know, uh, Pasadena Recovery Center. I don't know if, you know, who knows? There could be lots of reasons for that. Uh, they have actual licensed therapists for one thing, and they work with, you know, more traditional counselors, doctors, um, psychologists, etc. you know, psychiatrists and so on. So that's probably, if I had to guess, that would be one thing. Another thing is because she obviously was on the show with Dr. Drew. Uh, she wound up doing subsequent, uh, I think, you know, like a reunion show with that. But she stayed a attached to that for a long time, may even still be to some degree. I'm not sure. I think she's on, she's been doing some other acting again. But that's, uh, that's a little known thing. And it went, it sort of flew under the radar for, for a long time because Again, Narconon didn't want to make a big deal out of it, even though she mentions it in her book herself. Um, I, I don't remember if she mentioned it when she went on Oprah, uh, but uh, it, it sort of was very little known. But if you, if you start doing some searches on it, you will find out. You'll find tons of stuff of, of her at Pasadena Recovery Center. You only find a couple mentions, like on a Scientologist message board and the press release that we sent out from Narconon, Louisiana back then. So... There you go. That's uh, that's the next little uh, story for the Narconon Scientology Chronicles. Mackenzie Phillips went to Narconon, Louisiana. Till next time. Take care.